Hello guys, welcome back to Crazy Coders Club. This is the third video on how to use Google Sheet as database and here I am going to show you read operation using list view. So here are the few instructions. Please watch complete video carefully or else you may end up with error. I will be using ready code in most of the steps and explain the flow so try to understand the flow. We will be sharing all the resources in the video description. Please like, share and comment and this is the only return I expect from you guys for the efforts that I put. Hope you guys do it and what we are doing in this video. So I am adding one item new item just for the demo purpose so it's Moto G2 brand Motorola and price um, let me put 12k yeah so new item is added and this has been listed in the list view so let's start with our tutorial First, I'm going to add XML files. Uh, I'm going to create two XML files. List item dot XML. So here I'm adding simple list view. I'm going to share all the resource source code. And next, I'm going to create one more layout list item. So, so this will contain what all the things individual item should display. So this is how individual item things we will display these elements. So I'm basically I have used three text view to display item name, brand, and its price. Okay. Next, I'm going to add Java class list item. Okay, so I have code here. Okay, so basically, when this activity is open, I have binded list view with the uh, list view that I have created. And then I'm going to call this get items method. So what this will do, I'm going to explain by splitting the screen. Okay. So basically get items, this method, first it will request uh, app script web app to send a list of items. So it will send items in the JSON format, that is response. So whatever response we get here, we will be sending it to parse item method. So when we request app script, it will give response in the form of JSON format, this list of array of items, then we are sending that response to parse items. So in parse items, I am receiving it as string response. So first I am going to convert it as JSON object. Then I'm going to uh, fetch JSON array out of that JSON object. So here I am getting list of items that is items is a JSON object array and I am fetching that JSON array here. Then I am here I am using for loop to fetch individual JSON object from JSON array. So this 
item name this first whatever this blue color i have highlighted this is the first json object in the json array and this is the second json object so it will contain n number of objects so till last object this iteration loop so then what i am doing is i am fetching individual item name brand and price from the respective json object then i am assigning i am keying that respective items with the item hash map object that i have created why i have created this item hash map is we are using that hash map to add items as a list to the list so individual item is added to the list here so we are fetching individual objects from the json array and we are adding it to the list that is the main intention behind this logic then i am using adopter list view adapter here so i have declared adopter here so this adopter object i am instantiating with these parameters so i am instantiating it with a simple adopter and context is this and which list you are using for this simple adopter whatever list i have declared i am using it and which layout you are using to display the content i am using list item row and what all the things you want to display in the list row i want to display item name brand and price so to which respective attribute uh, elements you want to display so i want to display respective attributes in these elements so it will be one is one to one mapping item name will be displayed in item name and brand and price respectively so then i am adding list view dot set adopter and setting this adopter which we have declared here so basically we are receiving uh, json response then we are parsing individual items and then we are adding uh, items to the list then we are using adopter to display the item finally we added that adopter to the list view so this is how the front end things work next i am going to explain back end part that is how this item array of item we will be getting okay open first open uh, your app script that we have created in the previous tutorial okay i am going to add uh, get items method or function in this case so i am going to explain this part first i have created rows variable this what it is going to do is it is going to fetch the data from this range that is second row first column till last but one row and last column so nothing but it is going to fetch this range and what it is saying get the values from that range it's simple and next what i'm doing is i'm fetching individual rows and assigning it to the record so i'm fetching details from first row and assigning respective data in the record and then adding that record to the data array finally what i'm doing is i'm uh this i am stringifying that data to json format that's it simple uh, i am i fetched all the data in two dimensional array then uh, assigning individual uh, rows to the record and pushing it to the data array then uh, formatting in it into json format then finally i am returning the json format data when it is requested so that's it from this get items so next what i am going to do is i am going to add do get function
okay i'm going to copy this part okay instead of add item get items hope oh, spellings are correct okay that's it guys so once you are done please deploy it with new version it may be any version from your end and get get items method sorry function okay let's run and check so we are getting response as expected next what i will do is copy this and go to android part so here i am told to replace that url please replace this url and not this url complete url is here complete url including action is equal to get items since we are using get method you can use post also but just for the difference i have used get method once it is done go to manifest and add activity to hope it looks good i forgot to add a button so go to main activity add one more button give button id button list items okay add constraints come to main activity button list item So I click that button. I am going to call list item activity. Okay, guys, that's it. We will run and check.
okay i forgot to rename main activity we will run once again okay all the items are listed so we can cross verify from sheet okay all the items are listed we can add one more new item item name which one shall we add moto g2 Price I will add twelve K. Okay, we can check. Yeah, it is added. So that's it, guys. Hope you like the video. That's it, guys. You can find the resource in the video description. Finally, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have any doubts, please let me know. Put your uh, doubts in the comment section below. And uh, we'll be coming back with a new video. Bye-bye.